What's going on YouTube? My name's Alex. This is As The Cheese Gaming. I'm back with a new Xbox 360 review for you this week. I'm going to be taking a look at Fable 2, which was developed by Lionhead Studios and published by Microsoft Game Studios, with a North American release date of October 21st, 2008. Fable 2 is an open-world action RPG. The story for this game opens where you and your sister are living in squalor as a small boy. One day, the two of you happen upon a magical mystery box. You hear it playing music. Your sister makes a wish, and suddenly, you're teleported over to Lucian's castle. While talking to you, Lucian realizes that you are the descendant, or one of you at least is, of the great hero of the first Fable game. Your sister is immediately killed, and you're shot out of a window. Thankfully, the seer from the first game, Teresa, helps you out, nurses you back to health, and now, as a young adult, you set out on your journey. With the goal being to find the three heroes of skill, will, and melee, avenge your sister. During this process, you can go off, buy houses, in this game, it has an expanded property system from the first one. Get jobs, which you're going to need in order to grind lots and lots of gold to buy all the houses or the weapons and other items in the game. Get married, interact with villagers, earn renown, and complete quests. There's tons of side quests and missions to accomplish throughout the game. Whether you just want to power right through the main story of the game or you just want to wander around, get lost in this game's atmosphere. Quick note for you, I will say that earning gold at the jobs in this game has to be by far the most boring feature of Fable 2. Next, let's touch on the combat. Whenever you defeat enemies in this game, you earn experience orbs. Each of these orbs can be used to upgrade your melee, like your sword attacks or your health. Skill, like your range attacks or how fast you are or how easily you can sneak around. Or Will, which lets you buy and also upgrade your spells. By the time you reach the end of the game and you've upgraded your character a lot, you're going to be able to feel like a total badass as you could just maul everyone in your path. The next thing I'd like to touch on in this review is the music and sound effects music in this game is absolutely wonderful. It's so easy to just get lost in this game's atmosphere. Whether you hear some of the music, or the villagers talking to you, or even the sound effects, such as in the combat that you can see in this gameplay here. The spells sound crisp with some real weight and impact behind them. The biggest gripe that I have for Fable 2 is really the lack of boss battles. I mean, you get to face a couple trolls, but really there's no real boss battle per se in this game. At least none that I really noticed. It's just kind of disappointing. When I'm playing an action RPG, I want there to be a really tough boss battle every so often in the game to really test me and see how far I've been able to level up my character and challenge me and make me think, but there's just not really any of them in this game. So, finally... To answer the question, is Fable 2 worth buying today and adding your collection? Well, to be totally honest, if you enjoy action RPGs, absolutely. This game was released for the Xbox 360, as I said at the open of this review, and is also backwards compatible on the Xbox One. Thanks for watching, everybody, and until next time.